at the end of the last video in the playlist. I recommended that you memorize this statement or something similar, this truth table and this logic symbol for an OR gate. Let's move these to one side and consider the fact that a two input OR gate is represented in Boolean algebra by one of the following. We have Q the output being equal to A or B, where A and B are the input. We can see it expressed like this, where it's simply A or B, and we can see it expressed like this, which is A or B again. So we can see there's more than one way to represent an OR operator. Each of these are valid ways to represent an OR operator. It is, however, usual when you're dealing with logic gates to use this boolean representation where this is the output and these are the inputs.